Alright, today I'm going to be opening ports for a, a web server based uh, FTP server using um, HFS um, client. And the actual gateway I'm going to be using is the new Uverse um, 3800 HDV B. And we go to HFS. Search, uh, download, hit save, and close that out. And I already have it. Usually it's set to port, port 80, so you just click on it and change it to, I use port 83. I'm not going to change it because I already have it saved. So... You can do that if you want. It just shows you a little bit of your bandwidth, what, how much is being used when you upload or whatever, or download. Um, then you can go in here and change things, settings, stuff like that. Let's do a self test, but you don't want to do one right now. So what you now you got to do is go into the router. This is the the Uverse gateway. And a lot of people talk about they have a hard time configuring stuff. So this is my help video. Yeah, hopefully it'll help some people out. So I'm going to firewall, firewall settings. And I don't know why I have two of my same computers, but the first one did not work for me. So I'm picking the next one which is this one and then I'm going to add a new user definition I'm going to type in HFS in caps and then port 83 port 83 okay and then add definition you don't put anything in the in there at all under app, application type and then you do TCP Port 83, 83, and 83. And then you hit, you know, like I, again, once again, application type, you don't put anything, and hit de I definition, then you hit back, and it probably switched me back to the top one again. So you want to select, uh, make sure you select the right one. So I, I'm going to select the second one. And then once it's done, I hit this and click add. And once that is done, in there, it says host application. And I already have a folder shared, which actually I'm going to remove it. Um, menu. Actually, I take it back. Right here, right click, add folders from disk. And go to... Reagent web server, and if you people, if you want other people to see your full folders and stuff, you want to put a real folder, the red folder. And once you do that, you can right click and put a password on it or restrictions a new for new accounts or anonymous. Also, you can make a new uh, make a folder on your desktop called up oh, load um that's fine I already have one up here made and you can go over right here and add the folder it says upload it says re real folder yes and then you can set uh, for people to upload to you anytime you want anybody to upload anything to you, just put anyone. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, and then this shows you just uh, how much bandwidth you have incoming and outgoing. And if you want to test it, you do a self-test and click OK. If it does it really fast, it will uh, come back on the good test.
usually does not take this long, it should have happened right away. Testing. But, uh, it might change it to port 80,000, might change it to 70,000 or 100,000. You just gotta change it back to 83. Once it's set, it's set. Now it's a 70,000, so. See, it went to that, so you gotta change it to 83. So I put 83, now do the test. I probably do it really quick. See, the test is successfully, the server can be, it should be working fine. Alright. So if you want somebody to upload pictures to you, you copy this address, which is your IP with the folder, and you can send it to them in a IM. I am or an email and they click on it and it'll go straight to their um, straight to your server actually you host your files on they can just download really fast actually that's a down upload folder so they can upload only and the other one if you do the same thing copy and paste and I am or email they can get the file whatever you share no it doesn't matter what size it is or what it is and if you, once you have it all settings save, you want to go down and save file systems. Also, you can save it to your S3 also. And auto save options on exit. That way, if you have any updated settings, it'll ask if you want to save them. You can, you can hit switch the server off and on if you want. So it's off. Now you, your server is currently off. You can turn it on. Now it's on. Just minimize it. And that will be it. Mm-hmm.